see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled and yet South Holland residents and friends. Uh, my name is Don DeGraff. I have the privilege of serving the village of South Holland as mayor. This is a very special day. Uh, we're celebrating Memorial Day. It's a bit unique this year, obviously. Uh, as a result of the pandemic, we're not having our parade. We are not going to be having a beautiful ceremony like we typically do after the parade. But that said, we want to honor our veterans and honor all of those that are serving actively in the military. This uh, park, we redid Veterans Memorial Park. It's where I'm standing today on the beautiful promenade. Flags, uh, the American flag and the village flag behind me and this beautiful monument behind me is the Eagle of Liberty. The Eagle of Liberty was something that we placed here in 2008 along with over 600 names of veterans who have served the village of South Holland as residents and as, as um, military people in the Army, in the Navy, in the Air Force, in the Marines, and in the Coast Guard. And we look to all of those wonderful men and women who have served our village and served in the military as heroes. So we put their names on these plaques, these beautiful stone plaques. We wanted to recognize them for into posterity to make sure that all of uh, their families and those of us in the village who represent uh, this village and this nation are so proud of what they've done. So we wanted to take just a few minutes here to acknowledge them. We want to know that every five years we're adding uh, names to these plaques. So if you have particular men or women in your family who are South Holland residents or have been residents who want to be recognized, feel free to let us know so we can add them. This year, we have 16 new names being added to the, the plaques, the stone plaques. We're gonna recognize those people at this point. I'm gonna, we'll put their names up on the screen so we can recognize who they are.
We're so happy to recognize these 16 individuals, both men and women, who have served our country. It's so important for us as South Hollanders to remember a little bit of our history, going back to 1847 when we were settled, 1894 incorporated, and thinking about so many men and women who have loved this village, community of faith, family, and future, but also have loved and served this country. I remember so many names of men and women who, whose names are on these plaques, on these, these uh, stones where they're engraved into posterity. And I think about the importance of who we are as a community and how we want to continue to serve our great country. I'm thankful for the veterans. I'm thankful for our families. Thank you for the freedom that we all enjoy. And on this Memorial Day in 2020, even though it's a very unique, exceptional year, the year that never was, so to speak, where everything quiets down, we keep our physical and social distancing, where we have to wash our hands all the time, and we have to remember to wear our face coverings. It's important that we understand the importance of the freedoms that we enjoy in this country. And with God's help, we'll get through all this pandemic and things will be good again. But think seriously about how we can celebrate Memorial Day together. This is a wonderful time for our village, wonderful time for our country. Let's rejoice in what God has given us and enjoy this beautiful day, Memorial Day 2020. Thank you.